So I'm here in Ormond Beach, Florida. Well, do you think really great southern food that's been chefed up? Well, you will after you check out this joint. This is Rose Villa, Southern Table and Bar. We got a lot of tickets coming in. Let's get this food out. This is really the jewel and the centerpiece of our downtown. Shrimp and grits. It's just leagues above whatever else you can find around. Which is pretty much what business partners Pat Sullivan and Sylvia Herrera are going for. What differentiates it from everybody else? It's better. <laughs> there you go, point. You know, Southern inspired with French influence. Bourbon pork chop going in the window. Mom always made pork chops and applesauce, and Sylvia has put a twist on that and turned it into an adult dish for me. The bourbon glaze is fantastic. It has a sweet, tangy flavor to it. What are we making first? Bourbon barbecue pork chop. So we're gonna make the brine. Salt, brown sugar, water, and then we add the root beer. So a bone and chop. Let these brine for at least 24 hours. What's next? The bourbon barbecue sauce. I gotcha. Ketchup, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, bourbon. Good amount there. Molasses. molasses. Root beer, coffee, Worcestershire, granulated garlic, granulated onion, chili powder. Mustard and cayenne. How much is that going to reduce by? About a third. Barbecue sauce is done. What is this getting served with, by the way? I do a tree fruit chutney. And what tree fruit do we have today? Tell us about it. Diced peaches, apples, sun-dried cranberries, garlic, ginger. Ginger, nice call. Apple cider vinegar, sugar, lemon juice. Here we go. Red pepper flakes, dry mustard, turmeric, ground coriander, and a little cinnamon. Can't have a chutney without some cinnamon. And we'll let this cook down how long? 10 to 15 minutes. What else are we going to make? Goat cheese grits. So I do half water, half milk, and we will add our grits, cook them down with butter and our heavy cream, goat cheese and salt to finish them. Fantastic. Yep. So we're gonna take one of our pork chops out of the brine. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this house seasoning. Okay. okay. Sugar. Not salt. I mean salt. Ouch. <laughs> granulated garlic. You scared me to death. <laughs> ground pepper, granulated onion, and ground thyme. Oil our chop, season it. Grill it, and when it flat tops is when you're gonna glaze the barbecue sauce on it? Yep. So now we're gonna plate this up. We've got our goat cheese grits right here. Put on our pork chop. Token vegetables. Token. Tree fruit chutney. Little bit of chive oil. The chutney is the kiss here. The chop itself is great. It's tender. It's got great flavor in it. But the sweetness and a bit of the acidity from the chutney, richness of the chop with a good sear on that, and then the tang of the goat cheese grits, I mean, the medley of what you put together, when you get that perfect bite of all three, dynamite. The bourbon barbecue pork chop. The only thing I like better than drinking bourbon is eating food cooked with bourbon. It just provides such a richness. How's the pork chop? Really, really good. 